Welcome back. It's time for another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. Brought to you by Sanford Arts. My name is Mark Zimmerman and I am rolling ink out on a sheet of plexiglass. A very thin layer of pretty tacky um, and intense black ink. I'm going to drop a sheet of paper on top of that ink. Seems odd, doesn't it? And then I'm going to tape it down so paper doesn't move on me. And then I've got the ink inside a rectangle of tape. And I can feel the edge of that tape and run this pen along it. Tells me where my ink is at. That's where I need to do my drawing. It's okay if I make a mistake to the outside. Like that to the outside. There's really no ink there to transfer so that mark probably doesn't even show up. Um, alrighty. I'm looking at a photograph of a brown pelican. Crazy looking bird. Building a wing. There's a wing. I think I see a little bit of his back. Or maybe the other wing. It doesn't really matter. I see a shape right here. And it's pretty dark. Pretty dark up in here, too. And then I think I see another wing here, or it's this wing, I'm not sure. But it's darker. So, I'm transferring ink with this pen. I'm pushing down changing the pressure on it a little bit from time to time and that changes how much it's transferring. There seems to be a dark edge on the wing right in here. Now, let's look at this crazy head. Um, You'll notice that I cannot set my hand down. If I touch anything that touches out there, it transfers ink. Just some more feathers, so I'm going to do that real quick. Woo, crazy bird. A lot of artists will tell you you've never seen something until you've had to draw it. I don't think I'd ever really seen this pelican.
Pretty crazy beak on this thing. Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> so the question is to draw this or paint this because I'm going to come back with watercolor I could just paint this black, but I think I want the the feel of the feathers on the those little feathers on his head too. And I want the intensity of the ink, I guess, too. It's hard to get watercolor to be as intense as ink. This is just really dark here. So go for, go for that intense ink look. got two choices when you draw a bird. You can draw every feather or you can fake them all. We are faking them all. <laughs> all right, let's put a little horizon line in here. Uh, I want it straight. We'll say it's water. Water lays incredibly flat. And we'll just keep the background really simple. So I measured four and a quarter inches up, it leaves me six and three quarters coming down. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it leaves me six and three quarters coming down. Um, let's see if I can solve that problem there. So I, 
kind of made a little mistake. I'm going to grab a bridge. So I can't set my hand down out there, but I can use a bridge. So when you make a mistake, What you want to do is hide that, right? <laughs> At least you can do that when you're drawing. Some of those life mistakes you just got to live with, though. Don't have to live with that one, so might as well not. Um, I'm going to transfer just a little bit of a little bit of texture, a little bit of tone here. And here too. There we go. Let's put a little up in there too. Let's take a peek. See what we got. Yeah. So I'm going to get the ink out of here and, like I said, splash a little watercolor paint on there. Kind of a fun bird. Uh, put a board under here so I can tip this in various directions when I'm watercoloring. And there he is. Um, you'll notice that he came out backwards. It's not the drawing I did, it's the... It's the mirror image of that drawing. Uh, so I've got an indigo, kind of a blue violet. And then I see a little, a little more brown. I guess that's why they call them brown pelicans. It must be their breast that's brown. See if I can pick up some of that indigo too and kind of work them together. And that's lighter up in there, so. Let's see if I can get that out of there. There we go. And lighter, lighter down in here too. Well, so if you paint it just too dark, I guess you gotta come back and lighten it with a Kleenex, huh? There we go. Now it looks like there's a little light shining on him. Uh, boy, the back looks gray with a tint of violet, hint of violet in it. Not the back though, the wings. So, again, that indigo. With just a hint of violet, rinse my brush. Bring that down. Well, the same indigo on those legs. So, chunk of something. Yikes. Ah. Uh, Same indigo. Back up in here.
a little violet out here. Super light. Not a lot of color on here, really. A little brown again. I've never seen a brown pelican. Um, see the see the white ones that come to South Dakota, but never seen a brown one. bit of yellow. That fades to white. And yeah, if I bump into that indigo, then I get that gray that I see at the top too. Maybe I have to pick up a little more indigo. Then, where's my teeny brush? A little red around the eye. Eye looks to be kind of a turquoise blue. So. back with that. So maybe a little turquoise blue back in here too. And maybe here too. Let's get a bigger brush and let's turn this guy this way. So I can get to the bottom. I had an uncle who used to say, Pelican, Pelican, his beak can hold more than his bellican. I bet I heard him say that a dozen times. <laughs> it's not that funny. But it's nice to think of my uncle. So putting in a darker blue down here, we'll say that's the water. Rinse really, 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 really good. See if I can do this. Let's put some white in here. White. Water. Water is my white. We'll give the turquoise a stir. And... Push it up into that watery white. Now I'm going to tip this and let that paint run down. So I've got a drip coming right here. There we go. <laughs> Let's get that before it takes off on me. Huh? And then I'm going to do what's called a wash. So I'm just going to coax this paint down my paper using gravity.
And if I can, I'm going to kind of run out when I get to the bottom. Well, which is actually the top. Okay. Uh, let's just do it this way again. Rinse my brush again. Come back with that water here. Come back with some turquoise. Push it up into that watery paint or that water. I'm going to have plenty of paint, see what I can do with it when I get here. I think we're all right. That's a dangerous thing to do, is go back into a wash. Don't try that at home. So, I always sign them in pencil. We'll call it Pelican's Landing and sign it. And date it 2020. And there's our big bad pelican. Hope you had fun watching. I had fun playing around. Until next time, bye-bye.